Welcome viewers, welcome to my backyard in Australia. Do you like my sort of true blood theme out there? And I have a little Buddha. Very cute. Very cute. Sorry if it's on an angle because the whole yard's on an angle. Okay, very important topic this week. Basically, have the Dems got what it takes, you know? So I'm going to be looking at that, and that really all hinges on Merrick Garland. And when I put this video up, I was very impressed with Merrick Garland with what he had to say about the Texas abortion law, and I'll put that link up. Okay, so we're going to do that. Um, but first I've been asked about the drought in California. So I'm going to have a quick look at that and then Merrick Garland and then the Dems as a whole. So don't forget with all that Pluto activity happening, it's earthquakes, volcanoes, well, we're seeing that happen and it's literal because it's the earth moving, but it's also symbolic. It's symbolic of big shifts and changes so let's hope they're ultimately going in the right direction so i'm going to have a quick look here the drought situation in california don't forget put questions in the comments and i try and get to them and i'll make lists California going into a major drought. So Australia is known as a country of droughts and flooding rains. It was a poem that we all learnt as school children back in the day. So I do understand the implications of drought. And then they always break with a massive flood. So this is the thing about water, isn't it, viewers, too? Water is so important. Too much of it, not enough of it polluted water, what is going on with water? So here we go. Oh, no. So California, why are my cards doing weird things? Well, here... Now, this strikes me as an important card for this question. I'll just put the volume up a little bit because the birds are quite loud here. We have lots of birds. Okay, this is the good life. And what droughts do is they knock around your idea of the good life, um, but also as we've come of age in Western countries, we're water pigs. We use so much water. We use more water having a shower than, you know, a family in the third world has to live on for four days. You know, we, we fill our toilet cisterns with drinkable water and flush it away. It's so irresponsible. So I think this is the message here with this card. The strength card is there is the strength to deal with this issue and it's an important issue. It's a really important issue and we need, I don't think this is a young person in this case because they have the longer showers, but they're also symbolic of having to change the red turban, having to think things out, having to come up with a new relationship to water as a resource. And to a certain extent, it's, absolutely essential to take the incremental steps, the general stuff that needs to be done to address climate change, step by step has to be put in place. So when we've got water, we can save it for the times we haven't got water. So the question was, will there be longer drought? The cards haven't gone there. They're talking about why there are such droughts because although they were naturally occurring, they're occurring now for longer, they're more severe and the soil is more degraded after 200 years of Western agriculture. So 
you know, whole farms literally blow away in the night. So it's going back to basics is my response to that. Now, Merrick Garland, who is possibly the most powerful man in America, particularly in the next few months, because we all knew what power Barr had, America wouldn't be this far in trouble if Barr had been a different human being. But he wasn't, and you are, and now this Merrick Garland. So I'm going to do a read on him because everything hinges on the DOJ response to those who are just thumbing their noses at the subpoenas, right? Now, if I had my phone here, I'd be ringing Merrick Garland. And my suggestion is if you want to stop the rot with this stuff of people ignoring congressional subpoenas, go hard on Steve Bannon. Why? A, he should be in jail anyway for stealing money from people who bought the mythology of you could whip up a wall along the Rio Grande, like can't be done, won't be done, but I'll give you money, and then he ran off with it. So I don't have immense sympathy for those who lost out. But he was convicted, and then he was pardoned by Caligula, as we all know, and there he is swanning around causing havoc. But he has spent a lot of years trying to cause chaos and destabilise, speaking of earthquakes, American democracy. So go hard on Steve Bannon, lock him up until he agrees to testify, and that might provide the others with a bit of a, a jolt. Because if they think a fine's going to affect them, they've got to be joking. If they think three days or even a week, in a, a glorified prison is going to work. No, it's not. So Merrick Garland, what's the energy around Merrick Garland? Can he pull this back from the brink? Subpoenas, the DOJ, Merrick Garland. He's so important now. Merrick Garland. All right, I'm scared to look. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to say these cards aren't marvellous. They're more about the GOP, I think. Maybe we've overestimated what he can and can't do and the GOP should do something, but we know they won't. These cards have me foxed, viewers. So what will he do? The problem is the GOP are behind and giving covert coverage for the people who are refusing to do this. Imagine when Clinton had to testify, Hillary had to testify. Hmm. Yeah. Dark money. Not surprised, a lot of dark money behind the Republicans on this. Now, where it might get better and then it goes downhill again. This is the wheel of fortune. That's what I mean. The card, karma, fate and destiny. Here it is. Everything hinges, not everything, but almost everything hinges on how they handle this issue. They need to go in hard. They need to really pull no punches with this or they, meaning the people of America, will be out in the cold. So they really have to go hard. And here's the devil holding it up. So we need some clarifiers, don't we? It's not for a moment suggesting um, Merrick Garland is in league with the devil or anything like that. It's not. It's just these forces of dark money in the GOP are so powerful and the DOJ itself is still so compromised from the years of the Yeti that this is still overriding everything. So let's have a clarifier or two on the devil card. 
Merrick Garland. What can you do about the subpoenas and what is the devil card about? What is the devil card about? The world. So the world is watching. I can guarantee you that, dearest intrepid viewers. It's also got to be the end of a cycle that was ruled by the devil, right? The world. The end of the major arcana in tarot, the finished circle, it's got to be the end of the devil and a compromise has to be reached to reach across the aisle in some form. By that I mean conservative lawyers and those in the DOJ, even those who are Trump appointed, will they stand up for their country? That's a question. So will they stand up for their country? So it hinges very much on these next few weeks. We'll have to keep a close eye on that. So the dance. Now, I mean, Adam Schiff and all of them, you know, they're great people and they, they're saying really sensible things and they're talking tough. But I don't know if there's, if they can deal with the sheer filth and bottomless pit that is the GOP. So my big question of the day is, have the Dems got the goods? Have they got what it takes? Have the Dems got what it takes? Have the Dems got what it takes? Oh, you know, I was saying last time, why become a senator when you can just buy one? Uh, a viewer pointed out, it's a very good point. <laughs> they become senators because they make so much money now. And this viewer said in his state, a senator who joined 10 years ago with a net worth of $500,000, so he was already comfortable, he retires in 2022 with $5 million. That's after 10 years service as a public servant. How can that be? This has become so normalised until they do something about campaign donations and this stuff, America cannot function as a proper, truly grown-up democracy because it's a kleptocracy. People get in, take what they can and go. That is a kleptocracy. That's what's wrong with so many other countries. And here you have it. Okay. So have they got what it takes? What do the Dems need to do at this point? Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, that's possible. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. All right. It's sort of in a way, <laughs> you might say it's kind of gruesome with a good ending. Have I got you intrigued, intrepid viewers? Okay. So... Here you have the core of the issue. They're being held hostage by these forces of dark money. It's talking about, right? That's their obstacle. Okay. But we know this is not a permanent state, right? Foot in the water here. If she trusts her intuition and her guts and her higher self, she can get out of this. There are no swords in front of her. The bondage is quite loose. She can take off her own blindfold and move forward. But will she or will they becomes the question. I can tell you what will happen if they don't. Major loss and disappointment for the country. That's bad. Yes, they're at the crossroads right now. This is so important, how they deal with these uh, traitors and cowards. How do they deal with them? They have to find the answer. 
the Knight of Wands, they're moving forward. They're not, I think there's things going on that we don't know about, not just the psychics, just generally behind the scenes deals, but they've got to pull out all the guns. The, the problem for the Dems, the real problem is looking back to the good old days, that would be before 2016. That would be when things were moderately decent. You could argue that the Congress and the Senate were already fairly in the pockets of big corporations. That is not news, etc. It was not ideal, but the, the nostalgia makes it perfect, right? This is the problem with people revisiting history. And that's why I get a bit twitchy when people say, oh, why doesn't it go back to normal? Oh, please, God, it doesn't go back to normal. It has to be better than whatever the hell normal was, right? That's a really important thing to think about, right? Because this is, this is them wanting to do things the old way. But advice from the universe and the outcome. The king and queen of cups. So how statistically rare is that to get the king and queen of the same suit in the same reading with not a lot of cards on the table? It's very rare. Here we have Biden, bless him, and he understands the emotional realities of what's going on as well as the hard political realities. This is what they've got to tap into, everyone. They've got to stop just doing the Mr Nice Guys stuff of Biden, but understand what moves people. This is the Queen of Cups. That's his twin. This is a woman who also needs to voice that. And in a way, this could be Jill Biden. It's not our Nancy. Nancy's not warm and fuzzy. She has many other things to bring to the table, but it's not warm and fuzzy. It's someone who has to appeal to the hearts and minds of America. This is more like a Stacey Abrahams um, sort of energy, a woman who can make people feel that they are in charge, they will put this to bed and they will make sure people are accountable. But they have to make people understand that. They have to get to people emotionally, right? And they're not that good at doing that. So the advice from the universe is do that. Wheel out Stacy. Even Liz Cheney. <laughs> Who can forget her father, Mr. Pch, corruption. Who made tens of millions, maybe billions of pain of war. Hideous creature. However, in this context, I th no one can doubt her loyalty to her country she has stood up for that maybe she can express that please let me know in comments who you think this woman is because straight off the top of my head I'm not getting it but she needs to be there no it's not Kamala no not Kamala okay so in other developments I may or may not have mentioned, I've got through the longest lockdown in the world thanks to watching a 1,000 episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race. Maybe it's because <laughs> part of me is always hoping that Jared Kushner is going to turn up as a contestant, but that's the mischievous me. But I'm very fond of RuPaul, and one of the things he said recently in an interview, he was asked the question, what are you most afraid of? You know, because he's always been an outsider and this and that, but what are you most afraid of? And he said, I'm most afraid of ignorant people, particularly ignorant people who think they're smart. And I couldn't agree more. So those pearls come to you from the lips of RuPaul. Now, um. Another thing I wanted to mention was, oh, the Stupid Awards for the week. Oh, how could I miss those? Michael Flynn's brother, 
First of all, his son was the one pushing Pizzagate and all that nonsense, right? And his brother's pushing this idea. I, I couldn't even make sense of it. Is the vaccine in salad dressing or are they putting salad dressing in the vaccine? Something as crazy as that. That was one thing. The other thing was um, a US Navy engineer, Jonathan Tobey, and his wife, his nuclear submarine engineer has been arrested for selling secrets, nuclear secrets, and they transferred the secrets in peanut butter sandwiches. I mean, it's get smart, isn't it? It's totally get smart. Can't believe it. All right, guys, I love you so much. And don't forget, you've got a country to save. So I'll be back soon. Let me know what you think. And bye for now. Ciao, ciao.